Jing Liu from Circulation COVID team. Today on Circulation COVID updates from the front line, we're joined by Dr. Han and Dr. Xu. Dr. Han is the president of Chinese Society of Cardiology. She's also the director of the Department of Cardiology in Shenyang Northern Hospital. Dr. Xu is the vice chair of Youth Committee of Chinese Society of Cardiology. He is also part of the Shenyang Northern Hospital. Dr. Han, thank you so much for answering our questions. Uh, my first question is regarding um, the CVD phenotype. So for example, what are the most common cardiovascular complications or phenotypes that you have seen with COVID-19? Um, have you seen cardiomyopathy or is it cardiogenic shock, arrhythmia, ACS? Uh, what is your experience? Thank you very much, Professor Liu. As a cardiologist, these are the most important questions and the COVID-19 uh, epidemic situation. Uh, actually, at the beginning of the outbreak, we thought that the viral myocarditis may be the common cardiovascular complications with COVID-19. Therefore, there would be also some heart failure cases caused by the COVID-19. However, Based on our own experiences and studies from other Chinese physicians, uh, we gradually found severe myocarditis is uh, actually rare in patients with COVID-19, although myocardial injury is common. On the other hand, we have to be alert to myocardial injury secondary to the decrease of uh, oxygen supply or type 2 myocardial infection. Recently, two articles were published in Chinese Journal of Cardiology by Professor Zheng Qiu Tang, uh, Professor uh, Huang Kai from Union uh, University, from Zheng He Song from Tongji University. These two hospitals are affiliated with Tongji Medical College in Wuhan City, the, uh, the epicenter of the out, uh, outbreak. Here, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Xu Kai, one of my colleagues, to introduce the main findings from these two articles. Please, Dr. Xu. Dr. Xu, uh, could you please discuss the findings of those articles with us, please? Okay, uh, thank you, Professor Liu. Uh, the first study I'd like to talk uh, is about the impact of myocardial injury on the clinical outcomes in severe or critical ill patients with COVID-19. It's from Dr. Zheng He Sun's group. Uh, this is a retrospective analysis. Uh, totally 54 patients were enrolled. All of them were admitted to hospital in February 2020. Uh, they were diagnosed as uh, either severe or critical COVID-19. Uh, during hospitalization, 24 patients or 44% were complicated with myocardial injury, defined as cardiac troponin more than three times of upper limit of normal. And the 26 patients or 48% died in hospital. The inhospital mortality was significantly higher in patients with myocardial injury, which was 75%, and then in patients without myocardial injury, which was 26%. I mean 75% versus 26%. This study tells us it's important to closely monitor and carefully manage the myocardial injury during hospitalization for patients with COVID-19. The second study was from Dr. Huang Kai and Dr. Zheng Qiu Tang. It was about the clinical outcomes of patients with both COVID-19 and cardiovascular diseases, including patients with uh, hypertension, coronary artery disease, and heart failure. They found that in patients who died during hospitalization, 
88% patients had a history of coronary artery disease, and 76% patients had a history of heart failure. So this study tells us COVID-19 patients have a much higher in-hospital mortality if they have cardiovascular comorbidities. The cardiologists therefore should be paying more attention to those patients who have basic cardiovascular disease during this epidemic period. Thank you very much viewers for watching Circulation COVID updates from the frontline.